Do you guys know about the structural components of a road? If you don't know, I am going to tell you about the structural components of a road. First of all, what are structural components? Structural components are those parts of the road which are able to bear some kind of load or you can say which are able to support vertical loads of the traffic. So the structural components of a road are subgrade, subbase, base, surfacing and it is also called as wearing course. In this video, we will going to discuss functions, requirements, importance of these structural components of a road. So let's discuss these components one by one. First one is subgrade. What is subgrade? Subgrade consists of compacted earthwork. It is the soil foundation of the road which receives traffic loads from the pavement and transfers to the natural ground safely. Entire road structure rests on the subgrade. Therefore, its failure affects the performance of the entire road. Now, as we discussed over here, that there its failure affects the performance of the entire road. Now, what is subgrade performance? Subgrade's performance generally depends on three of its basic characteristics, all of which are interrelated. First one is load bearing capacity. The subgrade must be able to support loads transmitted from the pavement structure. This load bearing capacity is affected by degree of compaction, moisture content, and soil type. Subgrade that cannot support a high amount of loading without excessive deformation is considered good. Second performance requirement for subgrade is moisture content. Moisture tends to affect a number of subgrade properties including load bearing capacity, shrinkage and swelling. Moisture content can be influenced by a number of things such as drainage, groundwater table elevation, infiltration or pavement porosity which can be assisted by cracks in the pavement. Generally excessively wet subgrade will deform excessive under load. Third performance criteria is shrinkage or swelling. Some soils shrink or swell depending upon their moisture content. Additionally, soils with excessive fines content may be susceptible to frost heave in northern climates. Shrinkage or swelling and frost heave will tend to deform and crack any pavement type constructed over them. Now, how can we improve subgrade performance? Poor subgrade should be avoided if possible, but when it is necessary to build our weak soils, there are several methods available to improve subgrade performance. First one is removal and replacement or over excavation. Poor subgrade soil can simply be removed and replaced with high quality fill. Although this is simple in concept, it can be expensive. Second method of improving subgrade performance is stabilization with a cementitious or asphaltic binder. The addition of an appropriate binder such as lime, Portland cement or emulsified asphalt can increase subgrade stiffness or reduce swelling tendencies. Third method of improving subgrade performance is additional base layers. Marginally poor subgrade soils may be compensated for by using additional base layers. These layers usually by crushed stone, either stabilized or unstabilized, serve to spread pavement loads over a large subgrade area. So these are the three methods of improving subgrade performance. The second component or second structural component of road is subbase course. It is a layer of granular material provided above subgrade, generally natural gravel. It is usually not provided on subgrade of good quality. It enables traffic stresses to be reduced to acceptable levels in subgrade in the road cross section. It acts as a working platform for the construction of upper pavement layers acts as a drainage layer by protecting the subgrade from wetting up. It intercepts upward movement of water by capillary action. It acts as a separating layer between the subgrade and road base. By this, it prevents the two layers from mixing up. The third component of road is base course. It is a major structural component of the road. 
it is the layer immediately under the wearing surface applies whether the wearing surface is bituminous or cement concrete and or more inch thick or is a thin bituminous layer as base course lies close under the pavement surface it is subjected to severe loading the material in a base course must be or of extremely high quality and its construction must be done carefully there are four types of base course first one is granular base course a mixture of soil particles ranging in size from coarse to fine processing involve crushing oversized particles and screening where it is necessary to secure the desired grading the requirements of a satisfactory soil aggregate surface are that it should be stable it should resist the abrasion and resistance to penetration of water fourth point is capillary properties to replace moisture lost by the surface evaporation upon the addition of wearing course requirement change second type of base course is macadam base successive layer of crushed rock mechanically locked by rolling and bonding by stone screening it could be rock dust stone chips etc third type of base course is in water bound macadam the crushed stones are layered shaped and compacted and then finer materials along with water are added to surface to provide a dense material fourth type of base course is treated bases composed of mineral aggregate and additive to make them strong or more resistance to moisture among the treating agents is bitumen fourth structural component of road is surfacing or wearing course the top layers of pavement which is in direct contact with the vehicle usually constructed of material in which bitumen is used as a binder materials surfacing layer provides smooth riding surface it protects the base subbase and subgrade from the adverse weather conditions it minimizes the abrasion of road due to traffic presence of bitumen also protects any seepage from the surface to the underlying layers that's all for today for more videos you are requested to please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get video updates do you guys know about the structural components of a road if you don't know i am going to tell you about the structural components of a road first of all what are structural components structural components are those parts of the road which are able to bear some kind of load or you can say which are able to support vertical loads of the traffic so the structural components of a road are subgrade subbase base surfacing and it is also called as wearing course in this video we will going to discuss functions requirements importance of these structural components of a road so let's discuss these components one by one